Hi, I'm Jason Wheezy from the Petal Lab at the University of Utah, and I'm presenting our paper on adding domain-specific features to a text editor to support diverse, real-world approaches to time management planning. This is work that I did with two of my graduate students, John Lund and Cynthia Kabir. So think back to the last time you were under a lot of pressure and needed to plan out your time. What process did you follow? What tools did you use? You might reference a calendar or a task list. But in reality, if you're like most people, when you're making a plan, you probably use some kind of unstructured free text tool, whether it be paper or digital. But if most people follow an unstructured process, why aren't there better tools to support an unstructured approach? Most tools aimed at time management today are heavily structured. In our previous work, we started with the intention to design and build a highly structured daily time management planning tool. But fortunately, we did enough formative design work to realize that this was a bad idea, and then we needed to revise our problem framing from requiring users to use best practices to finding opportunities to support current practices better. This paper picks up where that previous work left off. We implemented and deployed the tool we redesigned in the previous work to explore the question, can we make a tool that better fits the existing time management planning practices of undergraduate students? This is PLAN, the application we developed. The core concept of PLAN is that it's a text editor, but that it also has a variety of features that make it especially useful for time management planning. One such feature is the idea of sources, Opening the source drawer on the right reveals structured data from the user's calendar, task list, and assignments from the Canvas learning management system. The user can select items from that list and have them copied into their plan where they can edit or further manipulate them. Users can also type free text like a to-do list of items that is in their head and they can include checkboxes at the start of each line. Users can also set up a reminder by pressing the bell button on the toolbar just above the keyboard. This puts a bell emoji on the line and also assigns a start time to the item on that line, which is the time at which the reminder will be delivered in the application. Users can adjust the time on any line up or down using the time picker just above the toolbar. They can also adjust a time manually by typing it in text, which will be recognized by plan and works seamlessly with the time picker. Finally, they can snooze an item to their plan for the next day. We deployed PLAN for undergraduate students to use in their everyday lives in a series of two studies. In study one, 12 participants used PLAN for one week and used their previous approach without PLAN uh, for one week. We interviewed them three times during this study, and our goal was to see if students found value in PLAN's features. In the second study, 17 students downloaded PLAN and used it for more than a month. 11 of those students participated in two interviews we conducted with them. Our goal here was to build on positive findings from study one and to see how participants used PLAN over a longer term. We analyzed the data from both studies together following a process of open coding and then iteratively coded our data first into 20 sub-themes and ultimately developed five themes that conveyed the data. We also processed and analyzed the application usage logs for each participant. And what we found from this analysis is that the plans participants created differed between participants, that the flexibility afforded by plan was useful, and also uh, that it had some drawbacks, and that participants liked and used many of the domain-specific features um, and that daily planning also did not necessarily happen daily. To illustrate the different kinds of plans that participants made, here are two examples. 
The one on the left is really just a task list, while the one on the right has some events with specific times and other tasks interleaved throughout the plan. Part of the value of plan is that it's flexible to be used in these different ways. And that flexibility was good, but it was also difficult for some participants to deal with. For example, some participants found it daunting to open plan and see a blank page with no guidance or support for how to make an effective plan. Participants found value in the various features of plan. For example, snoozing really resonated with some participants. With A7 saying that snoozing almost put a name to what I do in my head as well. The snooze button just makes me not feel guilty. Some features also encouraged new behaviors. For example, the time picker helped B1, who said, I never used to put a time for everything. I usually can only go to the gym in the morning or I lose motivation. But with the app, I've been putting a time for me to go and then saying, okay, I actually do have enough time today to go do it. Not all of Plan's features were seen completely positively. In particular, our decision to have pages of plan organized by day meant that it was harder to do weekly planning, and as a result, plan wasn't as strong of a fit for users who preferred weekly planning. Finally, we saw that over the longer term in study two, different participants used plan differently from each other. Some people started using plan at the beginning of the study and then abandoned it. Some participants used plan consistently nearly every day, and some used plan off and on as they felt like they would benefit from some help. Our participants liked the features uh, in plan and they used them, and this is exciting because it introduces an opportunity to explore new ways of bringing additional features to text editors to facilitate domain-specific applications and also because the usage of those features can provide new opportunities for self-reflection and insight as a part of a personal informatics system. Another major takeaway from this work is that intermittent use of plan is to be expected and that there are ways that we could perhaps better match plan to those behaviors. A final takeaway from these results is that from talking with our participants, the act of planning may be more important than the artifact that is produced in the process. This has implications for tools that we might design to support planning, since approaches like automatically producing plans might actually have a negative effect. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I'd also like to acknowledge uh, the people and funding sources that made this work possible. In particular, Annabelle and Calvin too contributed uh, to the development of some of the features in plan and also uh, to some of the log data analysis. Um, our participants uh, spent time and effort on this study and also our reviewers, lab mates, and uh, seminar participants. Uh, this work was funded by the National Science Foundation and we're grateful for that support.